Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Mandela Madness. I know that infliction made it sound like there was something more to this sentence, but there really isn't, so let's just crack on with the intro. Has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little us does. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Now, in my research, I've noticed a fascinating new effect that is affecting the affected community, and that is time. Yes, apparently time is speeding up, hurtling us towards an unstoppable, soul-crushing, life-ending state of death, where no one really knows what's going to happen to us. And every second we spend on this earth here counts, because that is a second that we cannot get back. Oh shit. What am I doing this for? Anyway, if you're still listening to this, let me waste just a little bit more of your time as we delve into this topic. Now we're going to check out a few people who believe that this is a real effect and that their lives, their time, is being stolen from them. So tonight, think of it as sort of like a three-course meal. We've got three YouTubers coming up. The first is The Entree. He's kind of a smaller channel, but he's got the best name. His name is Shazam the Magic Man. Damn it, that's pretty fucking cool. He's made no less than three of these videos on his channel. There could be more, I honestly couldn't be bothered looking any further than that, and they were all popping right in the front there. So we're going to check, check out a few of them, see what he has to say about this effect, and uh, talk about what his points are. Aloha, namaste. Just doing a quick YouTube video here as I walk home from work. Has anyone else noticed that, you know, a lot of people feeling time speeding up or the Schumann frequency having time speeding up or the feeling of that sense of time speeding up. A lot of people linking it to the Mandela effect and other things of that nature. Seems like more and more my waking life feels like a dream life. Yeah, yeah, I get that, but maybe put your phone down when you're crossing the road, because I, I guarantee you that the sensation of being run over by that truck, you know, that two tons of Ford truck, are actually going to feel a lot more real than, than your waking dream that you think you're in. Holy shit, that's a Ford as well. <laughs> Man, that's that's ironic. That's that's uh, that's serendipitous, that is. And um, I'm getting this sense every time I wake up, it feels like... Waking up from a dream into a dream. And this is become, becoming more cognizant, more abundant in the feeling. More cognizant and more abundant in the feeling that you're waking up to a dream. It, you can't just throw big words in to try and make the point that when you wake up you think you're still asleep. Luckily enough, he doesn't have to stumble along with this nonsense line of dialogue that he has in this first video. He actually has a second video here, which is called Mandela Effect, Time is Speeding Up, Proof. Good. If there's proof, then that's, that's good. We can put this whole thing to rest. Aloha, namaste. The Earth is ascending. The Schumann frequency frequency the Earth has doubled. This is your proof? This random article? Okay, well, let's check it out then. Oh, you haven't left a link to it in your description, or a link to any of the proof that you mention in the title of your video. You've actually just got a blank description. That's pretty bold. Um, I managed to find a link that leads straight to the article that it looks like you're looking at. It's been slightly, uh, this, it's been slightly formatted differently. I think the website's gone through a bit of an upgrade. It's called Event Chronicle, a website that has published and promoted stories like this one. And this. <laughs> well, at least I only have to hold out 32 years until they actually, you know, button down immortality and I don't have to worry about that whole soul-crushing death thing. That's good. I don't really want to be stuck in immortality as a 62-year-old. That would be, um, yeah, that'd be a bit depressing. You know, I feel like my heyday would be over by then and I'd just be that creepy guy leering at all the schoolgirls or whatever but down by the pool. That would be, that would be a bit weird and a bit creepy. But in, in in a sense, like, we might all be around the same age. Well, no, there definitely would still be schoolgirls. I don't know if it works, like, in time. Is it in time or about time? No, it's in time. That's a good movie. 
Yo, if this ever happens, if this ever happens with the whole immortality thing, that's when you'd see time speeding up, like in time, because it would be that would be the inflation. <laughs> That'd be like, all right, time is worth less. Um, a second is now uh, a split second, and boom, bing, bang, boom. What the fuck am I talking about? The frequency of the Earth is usually ba, 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 right there at 7.8 hertz. Now, this says a few days ago, human frequency hit 16.5. Now, actually, in the last couple of days, the human frequency has jumped and skyrocketed to, to, to anywhere between 30 and 33 hertz. Okay, so you say that the frequency of Earth has jumped to 30 to 33 hertz. Um, well, I've just read the whole article here, Shazam, the magic man. Well, here it states that it's jumped from 7.8 to 16.5. And... That 16.5, 33, 66, 132, and 264 are all harmonic in the solfeggio tone, 528, whatever that means. It doesn't state that over the past few days the frequency has increased from 16.5 to 33. I think, sir, that you have made that up. The other thing to also just take into account is um, you've said that this has happened over the past couple of days, and the article itself says that over the past couple of days it's changed from... 7.8 to 16 but you published this video in february last year and this article that you're reading is from 2015 so did you learn about this new increase to 33 hertz somewhere else and if so do you have the link to it oh wait no you don't have the link to it because your description is blank so it doubled from 7.8 hertz that's been for thousands of years to about 16.5 and then in the last couple of days, it doubled again to about 30, 33. So that is the reason why we have a lot of birds and other migratory animals feeling discombobulated or changing in their mig migration patterns. Again, with the birds changing their migration patterns, could you validate this statement with any proof? Maybe a link to another article that shows that that's happening? How do you know that the birds feel discombobulated? Have you interviewed them? Have you have you done any tests on them? How have their migrations been affected? Can you show us how the patterns have changed by tracking what they were like in 2010 and how they are now? And can you disprove that any of these hundreds of articles that pop up in Google when you do a Google search as to the change in birds migration patterns are due to climate change? Can you talk that down? Can you can you show us that it's not that, it's because of the frequency change? Can you even confirm what the frequency is? Because you don't seem to understand the article that's right in front of your face. So we're not crazy, something big is happening. Now the reason I think that they uh, this is happening is repair all the damage from pollution to our DNA, upload new software for fourth and fifth dimensional thinking. What fucking new software do we need? Their plan is failing on that. Don't worry, guys. We are speeding up. You're not crazy. The Mandela effect is real. There is a scientific piece of information or fact here, right here. The Schumann Residency showing that scientifically something is different and changing on our planet. Period. So for all those people who want to say confabulation or misremembering or stuff like that, or you're just getting older, that's why you're feeling time moving faster. Aloha, namaste, and welcome to the... Wait, what the fuck? Did he use Leslo this video and loop it over halfway through? Holy shit, he did. <laughs> Holy shit, wait. No, he didn't. These are two different, completely different takes. Aloha, Aloha namaste. namaste, and welcome, welcome to the Orion, to the Orion Spur, Earth, Earth, and the Milky Way Galaxy. Galaxy. If you have been experiencing the Sagittarius arm, and you're from the Sagittarius arm, but I'm actually Galaxy. here to talk about there is a reason, a rhyme, and, and there is... He, did he just put them one after another because he couldn't decide which was better, or did he legitimately not know? Like, this isn't a video camera from fucking 2001. This is... <laughs> he's recorded this on his phone somehow. And he somehow put them both in. Did he film a three and a half minute video and then upload a seven minute video thinking that <laughs> thinking that, that was fine? Do you not see the irony here about lost time, time speeding up? Oh man, okay. Okay, I think we're done with Shazam the Magic Man. Um, next up is a man named Scott Harrison.
Yeah, Scott Harrison. Real original Scott using your own name in your YouTube channel. It's Christmas Eve already. <laughs> Whoa, where the fuck did he come from? It does feel like this year's gone fast, don't you think? Um, I know a lot of you do because you've all been saying it to me uh, within the community uh, that time seems to be going faster now. Well, it is. And today, I'm going to prove it to you. Excellent. More proof. This is what we need. We need proof. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best opening I have ever seen. I just want to say that that is fucking spot on. That is so good. I don't care how shitty his proof is. The, the fact that this intro is here with that song, hands down, this is the best, the best quality Mandela Effect video I've ever come across. Uh, what really made me aware of this was when I got my watch. Fuck it, never mind, I take it back. What the fuck? Why does he keep doing this with the flipping in and out? <laughs> Why? I don't understand. Um, of course. Uh, it's the watch. Can we cut to the point? Look at the seconds ticking on that. What seconds are you talking about? On this clock, you've got the time in the standard hour and minute format. You've got the temperature, and you've got a percentage, which is probably measuring the level of inappropriateness of your camera angle. Bring it up here, man. Doom. 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 Look how fast that is. Scott, are you suggesting that the blinking colon between the hour and minute on the clock is measuring seconds? Where has it ever been stated that that is what measures the seconds? Why would that measure the seconds? It doesn't number off the seconds, it's just a blinking colon. If you're from the old world, you will remember a couple of ways that you can count up seconds so that you don't go too fast when you're counting. Uh, in America, they use one Mississippi, two Mississippi. In England, or like Britain, we use one one thousand, two one thousand. Yes, I used to do that too, until I bought a watch, and before the watch broke. Here's my watch. It's right twice a day. Oh, shit, my wrists are getting thicker. Isn't that funny how your wrists get thicker the more you masturbate? Let's try that with the dibber on there, okay? So we're looking at the seconds there. One, two, three. Okay, and let's try and count in the old fashioned way. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. It's, it's clicking twice before you've got there. Wow, you're right. Yeah, that it does, a bit, it blinks twice um, every time you count. Uh, time has literally doubled in speed. No, no, Scott. At, at the beginning of this video, you said you were going to prove it to us. You've conducted one experiment with some pretty freaky metrics, you know, as part of the measures of this. Um, and if this is all that you're going to do to prove that time is sped up, then it's, it's a pretty weak, it's, it's pretty weak proof. And look, I already know, everybody out there in YouTube land probably thinks that I'm going to make the shitty argument of saying he was counting too slow or speaking too slow or some other shit like that. And I'm not going to do that. That's... That's just a low blow. We can actually use science here because what we've got is essentially uh, we've got a video where he's counting and he's saying that this is not a second and it should be a second because that's how we used to measure seconds and that's what the effect is. Well, first of all, what we'll do is we'll take this video and we're going to convert it into an MP3. This is completely legal as long as it's not a, a music video, so that's that's fine. Um, then we're going to put it into Audacity and we're going to use the scale on Audacity to measure how long it is that he takes to count. And if we look at this in Audacity and play the clip and look at the time scale. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. It's, it's clicking twice before you've got there. Uh, time. Well, look at that. It's almost exactly a second. He's just a little bit slower. But if you look at the overall scale, or if I even just clip the clip, clip the clip, snip the clip, snip the clip, clip, clip up the snip. We'll put the clip in and we'll snip it and it will be four seconds and we'll see if we can fit that entire segment of him counting into that four seconds if, if four tests is good enough to prove that 
that method works to count to a second. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, eight. At time has literally doubled in speed. I mean, all this has really proven is that the little blinking LEDs in the, the colon on his clock don't represent seconds. Um, so it's a real shame that he didn't have some sort of instrument around him that he could use to measure seconds that had like seconds numbered off on it. Hey, I've noticed this a lot more because of, of having this watch. I've not worn a watch for years. Um, that, that he could use to either just retest his experiment or... It was lay in bed and listening to the ticking. Just to get a more accurate measure, but I guess we'll, we'll never have anything like that for him to, to make the test with. Time's getting short, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so we're on to our last video for this video. That's, uh, that's over there. Yeah, that's right. Um, and this guy, he's becoming a little bit of a regular for the channel. Um, his name is Regrettable Boner, or at least his, I bet his dad regretted the boner that he had the night that this guy was conceived. I'm aware that that sounds like a real low blow, and I don't regret it. Um, the reason I'm going and swinging with Regato is because shortly after I made my first video, just criticizing the way that he produced his video, not saying anything too bad about him. You just make yourself look like a big asshole in this. He made a comment about me, I discovered. Apparently I am one of Satan's people, according to Ricardo, which is, you know, okay, thanks. Uh, and that Nick with no C is a derivative of Nike, um, which I'm sure people will know Nike is the brand. Um, Nike is also a, a Greek goddess for victory. So, okay, that makes sense. But he says that it's a satanic vector Sure, okay. Um, Nick with a C is the shortened form of Nicholas, um, and that is derived from Nike and from the word, the Greek word for people. It basically means victory of the people. Um, I should know, that's my name. <laughs> so what you're basically saying is that anybody who has a name that relates to one of the Greek gods is uh, one of Satan's people, because that's the name that we were given when we were born. Okay, cool. Good uh, good logic there. He also made a point of mentioning um, because I only had 840 subscribers at the time uh, and I had a history of making videos about Zelda, that makes me fake and uh, a scripted trolling account. So apparently when I want to go troll somebody, I make a fake account where I make a hundred other videos about Zelda or Nintendo and then when I notice somebody's doing some dumb shit on YouTube and I want to talk to them about it, I'm a fake trolling account. Regardo, let me address these three points out of order. Um, point number three, Mandela Mainstream is a trolling account that you've interacted with. And I know that because I made that account. I still wanted to see what you'd say if I made a video about you. And I know that you're not the kind of guy that looks into things too deeply. So I brought it to your attention. Point number one, don't knock my subs, man. My subs are awesome. They may be small in number, but god damn it, they have some fucking integrity, unlike somebody we know. And finally, point number two, don't knock my content before you fucking look at your own content like we're about to. Right, so here is a video of Ricardo Bona uh, where he's talking about time speeding up as well. The title of this video is Time Speeds Up at Night, Warring Us Out. You know you can use spell check, but that's fine. Let's carry on. We'll watch the video. Good morning, YouTube subscribers and viewers. I um, did a video last night at about 2 a.m. And I went through probably about, I don't know, eight different times just for a five-minute clip uh, video that I tried to upload. I had to go over and over and over and over again to get it uploaded. Uh, most of you are aware of um, the anomalies that happen around this effect. So this harkens back to a point I made in my last Method Behind the Madness video uh, where I think we were talking about Durana Johnson um, and there's that point about that they have trouble uploading videos and that that's 
part of the effect. You know, the effect is going to bring them down. The phone starts to just do it, all kinds of things, the lighting, the camera, the, the uploading. And he's, he's not only blaming technical difficulties, which is his own incompetence in using his phone to upload his terrible videos, he's also blaming his kids. If you have children, they start screaming and going nuts. He's blaming sirens. Sirens, helicopters, ambulances, all kinds of things going on. He's blaming everything around that would prevent him from uploading his video. That's all part of it, you know, it's all conspiring together like a Truman Show effect, trying to stop this guy from getting his voice out there. Sort of to block you or muffle you or shut you up. Um, so if you're going through this, you're not paranoid. I've experienced it, it's real, it does happen. You just have to work around it. You know, you go lock your kids in a room with- I'm pretty sure locking your kids in a room is, is child neglect, but that's fine. I don't think you have any children, so that's fine. Uh, but anyways, enough about me complaining about the difficulties of this. Um, the video that I did last night was actually about time dilation and was about the speeding up of time. Yes, it's happening. Uh, yes, I've seen it happen. And the first time that I really um, hooked this was when I went to the stopwatch on my phone right after uh, my music was going really fast and the stopwatch was going through seconds like a machine gun. Machine guns don't go through seconds, they go through bullets. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just so fast that you really couldn't even see the numbers when they change from one to the next to the next. Um, and in the milliseconds you could forget it, you couldn't see anything, it's just... So we're gonna, we're gonna have to take him at his word for all of this because this is purely anecdotal. There's no evidence that any of this actually happened. Um, so we're gonna just have to believe that he's somebody who has enough integrity to tell the truth with this sort of thing. And, um, do you? <laughs> Fuck. I, I personally listen to this and I hear a whole bunch of shit spinning. But that's just me. That's my opinion. Obviously I have that opinion. You have your own opinion. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna keep rolling with this and, and see what he has to say about time. And another aspect of this is actually once you see this happen, and when, for me, when I saw this happen and I was watching the stopwatch, it slowed down to what I was, you know, what I consider to be what a second should be. That was strange enough, because I'm, I'm looking at the numbers spinning so fast you can't see, and then, you know, 10, 15 seconds into it, they just start slow, they slow down instantly and you can now see and now it adds up and it's going the correct time so something about observing this causes this to act the way that it should act whoa 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 are you saying that if you look at a clock and you watch that clock and you observe that clock that that clock will be a clock and that if you feel like time's going really fast and you're not really accounting for how much time you're spending doing something, if you watch a clock, that'll tell you how much time you're using? Are you saying that you could theoretically lose track of time? That's a new, co a new phrase that I'm going to coin right here. Losing track of time. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make that a, a thing. Uh, and that... If you remind yourself about what the time is, suddenly you go, wow, that's what the time is. And, okay, because that's kind of at odds with what you were saying before. You were saying when you were observing the clock, it was ticking away like a machine gun. Um, and now when you look at a clock, it's a clock. Funny little world, isn't it? When you're not observing it, it's going haywire and speeding up time and wearing the shit out of you because you're working hard, doing long days and getting short nights of sleep and, you know, wondering why you wake up in the morning and you're like, wow, the night went really you know, fast. Generally, the night seems to go a lot faster than the day because you do this thing called sleep and you wake up and you go, wow, that probably wasn't enough sleep but now I'm awake, where's my clock so I know what the time is, fuck I'm late for work. True story. It's a true story that happened to me. Maybe the reason you feel so worn out all the time <laughs> is because you spend all your time making these shit videos and then 
I mean, that's only five minutes out of your day, but then you try uploading them eight or nine times and they don't work because we're trying to stop you because we're on to you, man. Just keep telling the truth to these people. They're going to want more of it. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not part of the Illuminati. And, um, and this is why I believe it happens at night. You know, again, it's all a part of intelligent design. What part of intelligent design is making time go faster at night because no one's observing it? Everyone's observing it. Did you know that when it's nighttime where you are, it's daytime where I am? What the fuck is wrong with you? And so what you have is the saints getting worn out again by the devil. He's messed up with time and pushed it to where, you know, you just you speed through nights. And unless you're working the overnight shift, it's not to your advantage. And most people work, you know, day shifts. Unless you, if you work overnight, this this can be an advantage to you. He's just, he's just kind of picked apart his own, like, a plot hole in his whole theory. Because he thinks this happens at night. He's pointed out the fact that there are people who work night shifts. So if they watch the clock, does that slow down the clock for everybody? Or does that just slow down the clock for the observer? If a clock ticks in a forest and no one's around to hear it, does it, does it click in the forest? I mean, I'm no science guy. I just, I'm asking the questions. Uh, but that's my, you know, reasoning. Did I just hear the words, that's my reasoning, slip out of your mouth in that sequence? The definition of reasoning is thinking about something in a logical or sensible way. You have in no way, shape, or form done that in this case. So please just shut the fuck up. As always, I like to hear your comments on what you have to say. So leave a comment. Leave a comment. So long as you're not one of Satan's people, a troll, a fake account, a scripted responder that's just here to bring me down. If you're one of those few genuine people that really just want to have a conversation with me, yeah, leave a comment down below. I definitely won't delete it. Or anything like that. So I'll leave you with my final thoughts and without my big toe which was mutilated in a game of bubble soccer last year. So put that away. Um, my personal experience and my personal thoughts are that as you are exposed to something more and more, it seems to have less of an effect on you, or less of an impact I should say. As you grow older, things seem to move a lot faster and, and time seems to creep up on you a lot quicker because you are dilating yourself in it a lot more as well. A, a day for me now is less than it was when I was six because it was much more of a percentage of time that I had existed on the planet than I do now. I think it's just natural that as you get older, time does go faster because your perception of the amount of time that you've spent on this planet is getting longer all the time and the impact of that is getting less and less and less. Call me crazy, uh, but I would like to close by reading a just a, a slight passage from Terry Pratchett, The Thief of Time, which is a great book. This, this is all about uh, just to give you some context, this is about the monks that maintain time. And um, basically somebody built a perfect clock sometime in the past, um, and that clock caused a huge crash, similar to um, like a Wall Street crash, but with time. This is all about people making things normal. You know, how, how people normalize stuff. What I'm doing now with, with this whole mandala effect thing. Yet to hand it to human beings, they had one of the strangest powers in the universe. Even her grandfather had remarked upon it. No other species anywhere in the world had invented boredom. Perhaps it was boredom, not intelligence, that had propelled them to this evolutionary ladder. Trolls and dwarves had it too. That strange ability to look at the universe and think, Oh, the same as yesterday. How dull. I wonder what happens if I bang this rock on that head. And along with this had come an associated power to make things normal. The world changed mightily, and within a few days, humans considered it was normal. They had the most amazing ability to shut out and forget what didn't fit. They had told themselves little stories to explain away the inexplicable, to make things normal. 
historians were especially good at it. If it suddenly looked as though hardly anything had happened in the 14th century, they weighed it down with 20 different theories. Not one of these would be that maybe most of time had been cut out and pasted into the 19th century where the crash had left not enough coherent time for everything that needed to happen, because it only takes a week to invent the horse collar. <laughs> the history monks had done their job well. Their biggest ally was that the human ability to think narratively, and humans had risen to the occasion. They'd say things like, Thursday already? What happened to the week? And time seems to go a lot faster these days. And it seems like only yesterday. But some things remained. The monks had carefully wiped out the time when the glass clock had struck. It had been surgically removed from history. Almost. So this is a story about how there are people changing time because an event happened and they needed to move time from the past to the future so that there was enough time for all the stuff that's happening right now to happen. This is also a story that takes place on a flat earth. As, as this was released the year I was born, who would have known that 30 years later, people were going to be thinking that this shit, which was written as a satirical comedy, would actually start to happen. R.I.P. Terry Pratchett, your works cometh to life in the most mundane and terrible ways, but we love you, and we miss you every day. Um, that's it from me. That's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Stop! Stop! So that's the guy, huh? Yeah, that's him. Hey, man, remember me? I got something for your ass. No, 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 don't someone mess no. with time. Ah. You don't no. with mm. time, mother... Ah. I will mess with time. I will mess with time.